chosen one. You have a special gift, but with it comes challenges. Being chosen means facing obstacles, but it also means you have incredible potential. The devil isn't just a supernatural force. It's also people with bad intentions who feel threatened by your light. They know you can make a positive impact and want to stop you. The devil fears your power and purpose. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Matthew chapter 5 and 14 You have a divine calling to bring positive change and disrupt evil plans. Your connection to a higher power gives you strength and guidance. Your inner light can expose and dispel darkness, which scares evil forces. But remember, you must be aware of this blessing and be ready for the challenges. Watch on to learn how to overcome them. Evil people use tactics like discouragement and fear to weaken your spirit. They want to make you doubt yourself and your purpose. Discouragement and fear are powerful tools they use to try to stop you. But these attacks are deliberate. The devil targets you because he knows the importance of your mission. Doubt and fear are his primary weapons to paralyze and distract you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. As a chosen one, embrace your identity and calling. The devil attacks you because he fears your potential. By understanding and accepting who you are, you can stand firm against these attacks and stay focused on your path. Your gifts are your greatest blessings and strongest shield against evil. Recognize and use them in your spiritual journey. Heightened intuition, healing abilities, and inspiration are some of the gifts you have. Trust your intuition and use your gifts to combat negativity. Persevere through challenges and stay connected to your purpose. Refuse to give up, maintain faith, and stay focused on your goals. The devil will try to distract you, but keep your eyes on your mission. Being a chosen one is both a blessing and a responsibility. It can feel isolating and exhausting, but remember, you have unique gifts and strengths. Embrace your journey with courage and perseverance. Surround yourself with supportive allies and seek solace in spiritual practices. Chosen ones have a special purpose, a divine calling that sets them apart. This purpose can bring positive change to the world and disrupt the plans of evil forces. The devil, seen as an embodiment of evil, recognizes this potential and sees it as a threat. He fears what the chosen ones can accomplish when they fully embrace their calling. The devil's fear stems from the knowledge that chosen ones are connected to a higher power. This connection gives them strength wisdom and guidance that can counteract evil plans. The devil knows that chosen ones have an inner light that can shine brightly, exposing and dispelling darkness. This light is a direct threat to the evil forces influence and control, but this is just the surface of it. You must be aware of this very important blessing you have. In order to win against these forces, keep watching to find out what it is. Evil people use various tactics to try to undermine and destroy the chosen ones. These tactics are deliberate and aimed at weakening the chosen one's spirit and resolve. One of the primary methods used by these negative forces is to cause discouragement and fear. By instilling these feelings, they hope to divert chosen ones from their path 
and make them doubt their abilities and purpose. Discouragement is a powerful tool. When chosen ones face setbacks or challenges, the devil and those aligned with him amplify these difficulties. They aim to make chosen ones feel isolated and unsupported. This sense of isolation can lead to feelings of hopelessness and a loss of motivation. By making chosen ones doubt themselves, the devil attempts to halt their progress and prevent them from achieving their goals. Fear is another significant tactic. The devil understands that fear can paralyze and prevent action. By instilling fear, he hopes to make chosen ones hesitant and unsure. This fear can manifest in various ways, such as fear of failure, fear of judgment, or fear of the unknown. The goal is to create enough anxiety and worry so that chosen ones are too afraid to take steps towards their destiny. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah chapter 29, 11. The devil's attacks are not random or haphazard. They are calculated and strategic. He carefully plans his moves, targeting the chosen ones with precision. This is because he understands the importance of this battle. The stakes are incredibly high, as it is a battle for your soul. The devil knows that by sowing seeds of doubt, fear, and temptation, he can weaken your resolve and distract you from your true purpose. Doubt is one of the devil's primary weapons. He tries to make chosen ones question their abilities, their purpose, and their worth. This doubt can creep into their thoughts, making them second-guess every decision and action. When doubt takes hold, it can paralyze and prevent forward progress. The devil uses this to his advantage, knowing that a doubtful mind is less likely to pursue its divine calling with confidence. Fear is another key tactic. The devil instills fear to create hesitation and anxiety. Fear can manifest in many forms. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, or fear of the unknown. This fear can be crippling, causing chosen ones to avoid taking necessary steps towards their goals. By keeping them in a state of fear, the devil hopes to keep them from realizing their full potential. As a chosen one, it's crucial that you embrace your identity and calling. Recognizing and accepting who you are is the first step in fulfilling your divine purpose. I must remind you once again that you receive these attacks because the evil forces are afraid of what's inside you. They know the power and potential you carry, and this scares them. By understanding and embracing your true identity, you can stand firm against these attacks and remain focused on your path, for we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans chapter 8, 37. Embracing your identity means acknowledging that you are chosen for a special purpose. This purpose may involve bringing light to dark places, healing, or spreading love and positivity. Whatever it is, it is unique to you and essential for the greater good. The devil will try to make you doubt this purpose but it is important to hold on to the truth of who you are and what you are meant to do. One of the ways to embrace your identity is by recognizing that the devil's attacks are actually a sign that you are on the right track. If you were not a threat to his plans, he would not bother with you. The fact that you face challenges and obstacles 
is a testament to the importance of your mission. It means that you have something valuable and powerful within you that the devil fears. When you face challenges or attacks on your spiritual journey, it's a sign of your growth and the light you are bringing into the world. The devil is afraid of what's inside you, your light, your love, and your power to transform yourself and the world around you. This fear drives his attempts to weaken you, but understanding this can give you the strength to overcome these attacks. The first step in overcoming these attacks is to recognize them for what they are. And these challenges are not random. They are deliberate attempts to derail you from your path. By seeing them clearly, you can address them with the appropriate strategies. Awareness of the nature of these attacks allows you to stay vigilant and prepared, reducing their impact on your journey. Staying strong is crucial in the face of these attacks. Inner strength comes from knowing your true self and staying connected to your purpose. Remind yourself daily of your mission and the importance of your role. This mental reinforcement can fortify your resolve and keep you focused. Practicing self-care, such as maintaining a healthy lifestyle and engaging in spiritual practices, can also bolster your strength. Your gifts may just be your greatest blessings, and they have the potential to be your strongest shield against evil forces. Chosen ones are known for receiving unique gifts due to their nature and divine calling. Understanding and identifying your gifts are crucial for their effective use in your spiritual journey. These gifts are not random. They are bestowed upon you to help you fulfill your purpose and combat evil forces. Recognizing and embracing these gifts can significantly enhance your ability to navigate and overcome challenges. Despite the challenges and burdens, being a chosen one is a profound journey of purpose and impact. It is a path illuminated by moments of clarity, growth, and transformation. Every struggle faced and obstacle overcome strengthens your spirit and reaffirms your commitment to your divine calling. Remember, you possess unique gifts and strengths that empower you to make a positive difference in the world. Your light shines brightest in the dark moments, offering hope and inspiration to those around you. Embrace the journey with courage and perseverance, knowing that you are not alone in your mission. Surround yourself with supportive allies who understand and appreciate the depth of your role. Seek solace in spiritual practices that replenish your soul and renew your strength. Trust in the guidance of a higher power that leads you on this path. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and subscribe for more insightful content.